Patrolman Craig Hoover of the Project 18 Community Policing Unit went out on National Night Out to speak with some of the Neighborhood Watch programs in town. The President Street Neighborhood Watch organized a neighborhood cleanup, while the Irwin Neighborhood Watch held a canned food drive. Let's take a look at what happens when neighbors work together and watch out for each other. We're here today with Gerald McCann of the President Street's Neighborhood Watch Association. He's a block captain here, and uh, today we're out here commemorating uh, National Aid Out or Community Day in our neighborhoods here. Welcome, Jerry. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very proud of our Neighborhood Watch program that we have here. I'm actually the committeeman for this district, and uh, it was a great showing. Um, the Actually, uh, uh, the patrolman actually helped us out bringing the ice cream truck out for the kids, which actually helped them to help us because we're all getting older. But uh, it was a very good showing. Uh, they picked up all the garbage throughout the neighborhood. Uh, it's uh, actually helping us to help our neighborhood. Um, we actually have a neighborhood uh, watch program that uh, just recently put up uh, signs, thank you to Patrolman Hoover. And uh, like I said, we're just very proud of the neighborhood. Glad we can get a showing like this to show that uh, we do care. We do care about everybody in our neighborhood. Uh, I want to personally come down here and congratulate you all on organizing so well in your community. Um, you clearly have an agenda and can organize very well because I've never seen such a large community come out so quickly in their first year. So I commend you all on that and uh, I want to bring some attention to the, the East Brunswick Drug Alliance as well. As you can see, the street signs that went up for your neighborhood watch program we only give those out to neighborhood watches that are actually doing something. So you kind of earn that status by organizing, signing block captains, having a lot of communication with me so I know that you're active, I know that you're doing things. And uh, this, obviously today, with the turnout that you have and the commitment to it, you're obviously showing it as well. So the, uh, the street signs went up and you'll see the drug message underneath, the drug free in East Brunswick. That's sponsored by Jakarta, the Governor's Council on Alcohol and, uh, Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, and also the East Brunswick Drug Alliance, who really pays for the signs. They paid and backed the ice cream uh, truck today for you, and we're really trying to push uh, the message, you know, for for drug use in East Brunswick, that it's you know that we're trying to end it. Um, but we also have a campaign against prescription drug abuse, and that's what we're really trying to. Do trying to do within the township specifically because prescription drug abuse really turns into potentially heroin abuse down the line. It's really a gateway drug. But as far as National Night Out goes, this is a, a great event for us to be out here and I commend you all for, for coming out here doing this and uh, I look forward to working with your, your block captains and your, your watch for the years to come. I really think uh, it's a great program. The purpose of National Light Out started over 30 years ago in the 80s, and it was meant really for crime prevention, education, awareness, and really to send a message to criminals that you know we're not going to we're not going to take that in our neighborhood. So by coming together and having events like this, getting to you know your neighbors, you're going to look out for each other a little bit more, and um, hopefully you continue to have great events like this. You know, there, the crime never stops in town, unfortunately, and uh, you being out here as a community as a whole. You know, definitely get you in touch with each other, kind of solidifies you and bonds you as a community. So you're the eyes and ears of your neighborhood, but you're the eyes and ears of us as well. And we can't be everywhere 24/7, and that's the, the bedrock of Neighborhood Watch and your commitment. So um, again, I've never been disappointed coming here for mm -hmm. anything function. There's always people wandering in. Mm -hmm. So you know, again, thank you for for coming out. You raise some food yeah. for the uh, the needy, so that's another great thing, and a uh, byproduct of again your uh, commitment to to the So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. If your community or organization wishes to participate in this event and hasn't had an opportunity to do so this year, uh, September 20th, we want to make sure everybody's aware of. East Brunswick Community Day, or former Community Day, has now merged into what we call East Brunswick Day. Uh, that's going to be September 20th. It's going to be run through the Parks and Recreation Department. And that Community Day is now merged with the Emergency Services Day. So we, it's kind of another community event involving the Emergency Service from East Brunswick and all the great people 
in the community that are coming out that normally set up tables, vendors, rides, games, food, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's going to be held again September 20th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Cultural Arts Center on Cranberry Road. So for more information on that, please reach out to the Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, it should be a great event, so please come out and support that as well.